Yeah. Okay, hello. This is Bankai922, and uh, today I went to Anime Festival. Very good, very good. Very surprising. Got everybody. The only one I didn't get was Crispin Freeman. That's a disappointing fact. But my father was tired, and I was tired. And after I got Stephanie Shea's autograph, it was crazy. Got autographs up the wazoo. Michael J. Tatum, Veronica Taylor. Oh my God, it was so many. It was like I got like five, five people. That was crazy. But I'm also here to talk about something else. Pretty much everybody's seen the recent Bleach chapter. Now I did a preview, a review of the other one, and that was good and all. I honestly have no fucking idea what's going on. Taikubo has put himself in a very deep fucking hole. So. But, uh, there's nothing else I can say about this. I mean, he's doing, it's a two week hiatus. So, by the end of October, towards the end of October, like October 27th, that's when they'll come with a new chapter. He lost all his powers. And Rookie disappears. So, I don't know what Kubo was thinking. Because you gotta wonder, where's the end game here? I didn't bring this up with, um, you know, I didn't, like, ask Stephanie Shad about if she saw, read the mangas or the animes. Usually they don't do that, voice actors. They don't have time, they're not schedules, to read or go look at, you know, episodes that are not aired. But anyway, um, I have no idea what's going on. I really don't. It's shocking. I mean... The only way I can see Taikubo continuing this story is with flashbacks. Excuse me. Flashbacks. That's it. There's, there's nothing about it. He, he, what's he going to talk about? What's the story going to focus on? Did, he she doesn't have his powers anymore. So what are you going to talk about? Something in the Soul Society? I mean, they should end the series. I don't want to sound stupid here, but... The way he did it is similar to Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood and the way they did it. And in order to save Al, to get his body back, he gave up his ability to use alchemy. That's what he did. He gave up the truth. You know, the whole story. So if you people see Brotherhood or not. But anyway. If Ichigo loses his sober powers, what is the sense of continuing the story? I don't understand it. I mean, I know December 4th comes out the movie, the fourth Bleach movie. Should be good. Should be very good. But I don't understand what Taiku is doing here. Aizen's been defeated. He's in Central 46. They sent him to like, like 22,000 years imprisonment. And not seal. But what's the sense of continuing? I should have brought this up with other people at the anime festival. I never told them anything. I never said anything about the manga chapters. But I just kind of wonder what's going on here. Why is it that now we're just he just decided to go just to all of a sudden just continuing it. And it says, at the end of the chapter, it says, two week, Beach will be on two week hiatus, next chapter, October 27th, at a specific website. So, I don't understand what's going on here. It's very peculiar. And I mean when I say, I see only flashbacks. Maybe they do a flashback of when Ichigo's father, Ishin Kurosaki, meets up his past with Aizen. Maybe they do that. Maybe it's Ishin's past with Aizen and Kisuke's past with Aizen as well. 
Maybe they talk about the King's Key and the King of the Soul Society. But I don't see Ichigo any part of it. I see no reason for them to continue the series. I'm sorry. Why don't you just end it? I mean, Naruto and One Piece are so much longer than Bleach. And I'm not complaining. I really am not complaining. They haven't even reached 300 yet. So, that's good news. But personally, I just don't see a reason to continue this. He's lost his powers. What's the point? What is the point? Also, when I was at Anime Festival, I got a good, some good stuff. I got two good shirts. Of course, Princess shirt and uh, Evangelion shirt. And uh, it was very... A lot of good sh stuff going on. A lot of good stuff. And I was able to get everybody in. See everybody there. Except for Crispy Fear, like I said before. But, um... I'm getting a, I mean, I want people to respond more about this because, like I said before, I've been watching this show, Bleach, for like since 2006 and reading the manga from like, I think, 2008, maybe 2007, 2008 to now. And I'm just wondering, give me your thoughts. Tell me what you think because I personally don't see Ichigo being involved anymore. If he continues this series, he will not be involved at all anymore. This has been Bonkai 922. You know, give me responses about this because I'll still, I'll, I'm still sticking with it. I'm going to stick with this. To thick and thin, I will stick with this show. Hopefully, I can see a uh, shining light at the end of the tunnel for this because. There's got to be an end game. There has to be an end game over this. There has to be a reason why Ichigo lost his powers and so on and so forth. Hopefully, in two weeks, we'll find out. Bye.